Wow, that's beautiful. Um, wow. Good morning, guys. I'm back here at Sunset Beach, my home beach. I got Brad right behind me, and I guess all the guys are coming. Okay, here's one of the things about the 900 that's a little off on me. I, I think this is probably a sharp end of a piece of iron, but listen to this. Either way, it's deep iron, and this thing loves deep iron. That means it, it finds deep targets. believe that even though I'm getting a high tone out of there, it's just going to be iron. Out. Maybe not out. Maybe it's just moving it around. Maybe out now. Now it's a 50 something out of the hole. Use that thing. How about <laughs> a pocket knife? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Well, first target on this beach is a pocket knife. So, this beach has, they usually build up a berm for the winter, and they just leveled it out with a dozer. And they just push it over to the beach's edge, and then the ocean hits it, and that's what we're getting. Okay, I got a weird sounding target here. Anywhere from 61 to 92. Out. That sounds pretty good, but fish weight good. Alright, out. Solid 57 out. You guys see anything yet? Oh, I think I see a penny. Oh no, it's a key. Part of a key. All right, still no coins yet today, but I'm cleaning up some metal off of this beach. All right. I've already taken a scoop. Kind of sound like iron, and then it started to sound a little bit better. Now 26, 27. Ooh, that's a big, big wave coming in there. Yeah, it sounds totally different. I don't think I got it at all. Okay. All right. Solid 2627. Now bizarre. So as I walk around in a circle, it changes up on me. That sounds quiet. Twenty seven. Solid twenty seven. All oh, right, there. I think I got my first coin in as a nickel. Yeah. All right, I see Jefferson right there. Okay, first coin in is a nickel. Okay, got a target right here. This sounds like iron. Out. Confirming it is iron. And it's not iron, it's a zinc penny. That's how the black sands will play havoc with you. 
So I got a nickel and a penny. Good morning, guys. Good morning, fine, sir. How you doing? Anything as of yet? I got my very first target was like a part of a pocket knife. But I got a nickel, a penny, and a pocket knife, and a, a few heavier objects out there, but nothing real heavy. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, that is one nice one. Oh, so you that, found that in Laguna? Yeah, that was yesterday. When was it, I was, when, oh, when yeah. It, when it was a recent drop, you know. That was well, a, right now that's what we're getting. We don't have any but, big swells. Was or it all chain we heard about? Yeah. Oh, that's, I heard about that chain. Wow. And that's the one that oh, was Oh, heck in, yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Um, wow. 14K? Pardon me? 14K? Yeah. yeah. I was really surprised because it's it's kind of kind of white satin out. out. It's not very gold, but it's it's like gold on the inside of the link. Well, I think it's a, it's probably white gold. It's gold well, and it a, is white, white gold, gold man. Yeah. It's, it's but and you know what happens to white gold, right? It it loses they its. Uh, to show. Oh yeah. yeah. Of course. Oh yeah. That was a that was a hell of a find. You kept saying, "Oh, it's not real, it's not real, it's not real." And I, kept saying, I can see why he didn't real. think it was real. I can see why. Well, was nice. it uh, a little bit stained up when you found it, or was it a no, fresh drop? No, it was just, just, just like, like that. that. It was just, Sorry, I don't mean to blind you guys on here. This morning, I got a target right here. I think it said seventy something. Oh, I think I got a penny. Out already. 56. I can't, I can't see a thing. It's right there. There we go. My eyes just have to focus. Yeah, I was right. It's my third coin. It's a penny. Oh, I thought you guys were on the whole time. Doggone it. Either way, I just dug a nickel out of that hole over there. Yeah, it's a weird signal too. Sounds super good, really. I got a ring. I just got a ring. Oh, nice. Just found a ring. Definitely purpley. Ooh, that is a silver ring. Any way you slice it. What is the count on that? That's kind of neat. CTR? Maybe? I don't know. It's actually kind of neat. It's got enamel in the middle of it. Yeah. That's really cool. Well, that's what I was saying. CTR. Boom. Yeah, I love floor. it. Okay, I got another high tone here. Another piece of iron. Got a big boat out there somewhere. Maybe it's a plane. Quarter that never sounded like a quarter until I got it out of the Is hole. I think. Hey, it's a uh, bicentennial quarter. 
Nice. Yeah, it sounds okay. Look at all those black sands, though. I like that little chum. Seventeen. in this ground. Alright, let's take a couple more scoops out. Could be out. All iron now. Doesn't sound like iron anymore, huh? here maybe is that it yeah ah it's another nickel sweet that's what I need for the cycle not gonna trust anything at all around here get it out Okay. Right here. It's a ring. I got another ring. The world's tiniest ring. Yeah. I. I was just saying I didn't trust a signal. Look how tiny that thing is. Oh my gosh. That is a tiny silver ring, but a silver ring nonetheless. Yeah, I love the purple patina. I do too. All right. That's two rings. Two rings. Boom. Ringing it up. <laughs> out of that hole right there. I took several scoops out and it sounded like high toe 98.99 so I was thinking tent stick. I may have my dime. Make that a quarter. Okay. Second quarter of the day. What'd you say? You hit the cycle? cycle. All right. Oh, I, all I need is a dime. So guys, this is the Olight flashlight that I use. I didn't show you guys this strap. It was still in the box. But this is how it connects. Uh, or you can put this in the flaps of your hat. But I love this little light. It worked great this morning. And I can just put it in my pocket. Mm hmm. Sounds pretty good. Still think it's going to be a chunk of iron. It's quiet and it's out. Oh, I think it's going to be another quarter. Maybe I put my light away too soon. There it is. Yeah, another quarter. All right, right below some dig marks up there, not mine. I got a low tail. Doesn't sound good at all. Back to sounding like a low tone. All 
right, I have it in a scoop. That's quiet. the color but it's just a rivet or a bullet casing it's a bullet casing yeah okay oh yeah oh it's got some stones in it yeah that's what i'm saying it's like a little rainbow they're they kind of you know how people do with sea glass oh you know uh what they call it it's like a mom green they put the stones oh, of uh, oh, the yeah, stones the children in it. Very nice. Yeah. At least it's at least it's yeah, you got some silver. Yeah, at least that. We need to get some gold. Yeah, it's good. Out of that monster hole right there. I think I got a quarter. up a little higher tide is coming in there we go another quarter I got a bunch of quarters I just need uh, one dime to hit the cycle how beautiful it is over here see that house in the back that's a water tower house Back in the 80s, somebody converted the big old water tower into a, uh, a house. Just enough to pique my interest. Certainly use a dime right now. Maybe another quarter. Ah, another nickel. I'm killing it in nickels today. I'm hoping this is a good target. Right at that dog print. A dog's paw print, not dog print. Negative 18. Out. My goodness. Gotta love quarters, huh? I still need that time. <laughs> You guys see this little thing right here? This. That is a little tiny jellyfish. Occasionally they'll get washed up on our beaches and by the millions. See negatives, all negatives. No, we just need that negative to become a positive. <laughs> Out. And it's not. What the heck? Maybe it is. Oh, it is a piece of jewelry. It is going to be silver. Okay, anything else part of that? Let's actually give this a good cleaning. Oh, I'm over a target. Let me move it over here, right here. Yeah, I think we know it's probably 
part of a pendant, maybe? Okay. Definitely has the patina of silver. Definitely a piece of jewelry. Okay. All right. So, I will shove that in my finds bag and move on. Is that it? No, it's organic. A negative 16. Now it's 93. Oh, please be a dime. Some scoop. I just did it. Yeah. I just finally hit the cycle. Yeah, the dime has been found. The dime is out. I got a crap ton of quarters. But that's my well, first that's dime. Sad. It was a negative 18 out of that hole. Isn't that wild? Yeah, I, I, I don't get it, but I get it. <laughs> I, it's just, it's, it, it's a whole new learning curve. You know, um, it flies in the face of like everything you kind of think you ought to do. Yeah, just the back aspects of detecting. Right. And this is a tough beach because, you know, the black sands mask everything. Well, every, you know, everything signals are completely So it's, it's either the, the iron sounds awesome or the coins sound like garbage. Well, and, and, Ooh, I'm hoping this is a really good target. It sounds so good. That's the best sounding target all day. Ooh, be good to Jim. Be good to Jim. That no, doesn't sound all that great. Out. Come on, be good. Sounds good, good, good. I was hoping to see gold shining. Still don't see anything yet. Maybe it's gonna be a pull tab. Okay, you guys see anything? Nope, another nickel. That's why it sounded so good. Yep. That sounded delicious. Any more luck? Yeah, that's why they were walking back the other direction. Yeah. yeah. You know, oh, you got a comb. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, good for your mustache and everything. Yeah, there you go. Wait, breaker. Wish they were breaking a little bit later. Really chew this, this uh, sand up. Deep 98, though. Let's say that's iron. Negative 18. And there is a quarter. Dime. I'll take that dime all the time. We got a target right here. Another super deep 98. So, are we thinking that's iron? Out. Bizarre, bizarre.
Oh, I can see the quarter. All right, sweet. You getting hungry, Dave? We got hot off the grill right down the street. I, ever since I smelled that bacon being cooked, <laughs> yeah. I've been hungry. Fake, oh, gee. fake out. Oh, that's a fake out. That's the closest thing that's resembled a ring all morning long. All right, we'll just smash it into a ring. <laughs> just, yeah, I, I'm ready for uh, some breakfast. Hey, Brad, you ready for breakfast? Mike, you ready for breakfast? Oh, we had fun today, guys. We're gonna go get some breakfast. Okay, here's the wrap up. Look at all that big iron I removed from the beach. And this one here is a great big old magnet. See all the black sands and everything trying to stick to it? It is a ginormous magnet, for sure. This is also pretty interesting. It's a wad of keys. It sounded really good. This pocket knife was the first target in. It was pretty interesting. It sounded like a really high tone. Probably falsing off the ends just like the rest of this iron fooled me. Anyways guys, I got 11 quarters. Three dimes hitting the cycle at least three times. Five nickels. Three copper pennies. A handful of zinc pennies. Some of them are spendable. This is the first ring that I found. It's got a little CTR I believe on it. It's definitely silver for sure just because of the patina. It's very interesting little ring. Speaking a little, here's a little cross ring. Definitely going to be silver as well. Very interesting piece. I think I may have dented it with a scoop, but I'm not sure. And this I thought was silver, but I don't think so anymore. It is kind of heavy, but I don't believe that to be silver just because the patina doesn't look right to me. It just doesn't feel like silver now that it's dry and I can see it. But I'm curious to know what that really is. It is definitely a strange piece. I do believe it was a piece of jewelry at one time. Anyways, guys, I had a great day with my friends out on the beach. Haley says it's time to select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It. Oh, I know, baby girl. Okay, guys, I have another Would You Dig It contest giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card right here. So I got one item right here. I got the Equinox 800. I am in Park 1. I think you guys might be able to see that. I'm in Park 1 and All Metal Mode. Okay. Let me go 90 degrees. Would you dig it? If you would dig it, comment below what you think it is and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Thursday's video. Okay, one more time. All right, let's dig this one on up. It's a dime. Okay guys, now it's time to select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It? I'm going to my TubeBuddy app. I'm selecting pick a winner. Comment must contain the words. Dime. Let's pick a winner. Wes Creek. Yes, sounds like a dime. Well, Wes, that is the perfect answer. Send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section of my channel page, and I will send you out your $25 Amazon gift card. And guys, don't get discouraged. You know I have another Would You Dig It happening right now, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, I have another Would You Dig It contest giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card right here. So I got one item. I am in Park 1, all metal mode. All right, let's go right on over this. Go 90 degrees. Would you dig it? If you would dig it, comment below what you think it is, and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Thursday's video. All right, let's go over this one more time. Let's
Let's dig this one up. You dig it, I dug it. Would you dig it? If you would dig it, comment below what you think it is, and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Thursday's video. So guys, you may have seen I've done some e-bike video reviews, and you, one of the reasons I wanted to do those reviews is because I want to give away some e-bike. If you want to win one of these e-bikes on May 29th, which is Memorial Day, I'm going to be selecting one winner of one e-bike. They'll be able to choose whatever e-bike that I recently have reviewed. Reviewed. I will pay for the shipping regardless where you live in this world. Okay, so that is a big bonus to you. And all you need to do is like each one of those videos and comment. One comment in each one of those videos will count as an entry. And if you share it on Facebook or other social media, that will also count as an entry into the drawing. And on May 29th, I will be selecting a winner through that drawing, literally pulling the names right out of a hat. If you want to win one of those e-bikes, it's all you need to do. And I'm going to be putting up a playlist link at the end of this video. And if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing ringing this bell and receive all the notifications every time I release a new video and please take a look at this e-bike playlist right here that way you can win one of these e-bikes